Hey, how's it going and welcome back to the channel, Skyrim and the main questline. So, we defeated Eldewain and we've arranged a temporary truce between the Empire and the Stormcloaks, but apparently that's not enough for some people. We have a moral issue to decide on here. Delphine is demanding that we kill Parthenax for his past crimes. Now, this doesn't affect the main storylines, it will continue whether we kill him or not. But the consequences of not doing it are that the Blades won't talk to you if you don't, and if you do, then the Greybeards the grey won't talk to you. Now, I don't mind Edmund too much, but I can't abide Delphine, so I tried to kill them, but sadly, they're essential, so that's not possible. And I hate having open quests on my panel, so I've downloaded a mod that allows me to spare him called the Parthenax Dilemma, which can be found on the Nexus or Bethesda's own mod library. Now, it's up to you what route you take, but just remember, karma's a thing, people. Okay, so moving on. He may have betrayed all the way to the end, but that makes him worse, not better. We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. She is a horrible, horrible woman. So, no dialogue we can do here to actually get out of it. So we go and have a little chat with Parthenax. Now this is quite interesting, actually. The blades say you deserve to die. The blades are wise not to trust me. Only Khan Miov. I would not trust another Dova. Why shouldn't they trust you? We were made to dominate. The will to power is in our blood. You feel it in yourself, do you not? I can be trusted. I know this, but they do not. Only Khan Niov Dova. It is always wise to mistrust a Dova. I have overcome my nature only through meditation and long study of the way of the voice. No day goes by where I am not tempted to return to my inborn nature. Zimgrif Horwut se suyech. What is better, to be born good or to overcome your evil nature through great effort? I say to be born good personally, but you know, if you're not, well, the other one's not too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have a chat with uh, Arngir. Um, he's left us a bit of dilemma. What he's essentially saying is it's in his, his, uh, his nature to be the dominant species. So, But he's overcome that. So we have to make the choice whether um, that's a good enough reason to kill him or spare him. Now, obviously, I want to spare him. So I'm in chat and go and find on GS, see what he's got to say. Well, we're going to tell him what we've decided. You did well here today. The Blades want me to kill Parthenax. Is it true what they said? Was the Alduin's ally? Well, he told us that before anyway, so we knew that. There was nothing else they could do. If not for Parthenax, Alduin could not have been overthrown. It was he that first taught men to use the Thune. Don't worry, I'm not going to kill Parthenax. I mean, you guys can choose which route you want to go, it's entirely up to you, but... Karma's a bitch, people, so uh, choose wisely. All you need to do is learn to listen to it, and your path will be clear. The old tales say that he can travel into Sovngarde to devour the souls of the dead. You must find out how he does this, 
before he regains his strength and returns. Okay. I think we're going to uh, talk to the Blaze now. This is a very quick and simple video, just showing you how to do it. Okay, so we head over to Skyhaven Temple. Make sure that's on. Turn the miscellaneous. I've got to start clearing up my uh, quest lines. Oh, there we are. So uh, we pop over to Skyhaven Temple. Quite an impressive place. And they usually either be by the uh, wall or outside. Okay. Oh, I see books I haven't. Yep. That's one for the library. I wonder why I'm stealing that. Oh well, doesn't matter. Who cares? So, yep, obviously they're outside, so just head outside here. Uh, so, obviously, the mod makers didn't have access to the actress that actually uh, did the voice uh, makeover for uh, Delphine. So, it just comes up in uh, written dialogue here. So she's basically saying, uh, until Make he's dead, choice, you, they don't want to know you. With us or against us. I've decided to spare his life. And she says, Dragonborn, that's not your decision to make. Parthenax is evil and needs to answer for his crimes. Which we reply, so that's your answer, revenge. I thought the Blaze were better than this. The atrocities he committed against mankind were evil and forgivable. This isn't about revenge. And we say, we wouldn't even be here to discuss this if it wasn't for Parthenax. And she's going, oh, you're so blind. Has to let that dragon manipulate you into this. You have no idea what you're dealing with, blah, blah, blah. So did you question the authority of uh, Roman Sicredil or Tiberius Sept in this way? And those were different times and proven leaders. And you say, you realise without Parthenax, Tiber Septin could not be who he was, right? And she's basically arguing all the way. Nice attempt to flex the issue, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, Bronique Savages, that's what you've become. As bad as a Thalmor. So now we're becoming more aggressive with her. And she's going to start threatening you. And I see the Greybeards write about you as well. Bloodthirsty barbarians. And she's saying you're going too far and she's threatening to put you down. And it's what you should be able to. Draini Fuspar. Do not force my wrath if you know what's good for you. And basically she puts her pants and she uh, and she agrees to let Parthenax live. And Parthenax will be spared. Honour my decision. We will not speak of this again. And very well, Dragonborn. Though it goes against our better judgment, we will abide by your decision and allow Parthenax to live. And that's it. You've completed the Parthenax uh, uh, quest line. Of course, that's the way I want to go. You may want to go a different route. You may want to kill him. You may want to spare him. Um, it's entirely up to you. But uh, I'm really disappointed Skyrim didn't put an option like this actually into the storyline. It seemed a really obvious thing to do. Um, but anyway, there you go. If you want to, I left the picture of the uh, mod at the beginning and um, I'll put... Uh, I'll put the link to it in the description, if I remember. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and we're moving on to more meaty stuff next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.